Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and I, I wasn't going to make a video on this. Um, I seen this last night, I'm going through my email, and I get 10 copyright claims from KSI. And I actually was just like, what? Like, really, honestly confused. Um, and then I see this going around, this article, um, and I'll get into it. But it's not just that that's going on at YouTube, and there's a lot that these implications have so we see um a lot of channels being demonetized lately mr medicare was um purity sin um I, I listened to her video and um actually two of them about the situation and i've put a lot of work into my channel i it's it, it, it's my baby so to speak i absolutely love being able to talk i love having my channel um it keeps me busy and it keeps me happy so coming from that perspective her video was heartbreaking hearing that fear with knowing what it's like to have your channel taken away just like that was heartbreaking i i can't i feel so bad it wasn't and it was like the quarterings podcast was demonetized then we've got sinatra says like the terror in her voice was heartbreaking um not only that but when it comes to channels like that um they're keeping their AdSense. YouTube is keeping all of the money that they've made. So fast forward then to me checking my email last night. I get 10 copyright claims from KSI. It comes through um, WMG Warner Media Group, which is basically like his PR. Um, copyright claiming 10, not 10 videos. It ended up being three videos, but 10 claims throughout the videos that they said were his of my personal until dawn gameplay. Now, like, obviously it's my gameplay. I'm talking in it. And it was live. It was literally live streams. Like, are you kidding? So I see this article today. Um, YouTube is having a meltdown as creators get bombarded with false copyright claims. So... We have seen this in the past, not th to this extent, because this seems like it was a dumb move from his company. Really, 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 just beyond dumb. Like, you, you can't do this. But um, we've seen, like, Just Destiny, Attica, or I think that's how you say his name. I apologize. But we've seen them make false copyright claims trying to silence people in the past. And um, it didn't work out in their favor. Either channels were lost or stuff like this. You can't just false copyright claim somebody's stuff because you think it's similar to yours or because you don't want them talking anymore like it's ridiculous to think that i i can just about guarantee this is going to go on without any repercussions because it's ksi and he's got millions and millions of subscribers meanwhile every single view i get those pennies mean something to me when he's got millions of subscribers, he's trying to take my $2. Like, I know it sounds silly. And originally, I wasn't going to fight them, but I did. Um, the reason I wasn't going to fight them is because when you, you fight a co false copyright claim, um, you have to dox yourself. So they had to, like, I had to sign it my first legal and last name. Um, I don't like doing that. Now, mind you, it, like I said, he's got millions of subscribers. He doesn't care about somebody that's got 6,000. Like, I, I try to earn every single one of my views and my subscribers where he's just basically guaranteed them. But sure, take my $2, buddy. Like, it makes no sense. It says, YouTube has never been good at navigating its way through controversy. Every change that comes to the platform always tends to backfire. And we're seeing one coming very soon. Luckily... It has more to do with children's content, so I think I might slide under the radar for this one, but we'll have to see. The situation at YouTube is dire to say the least. From the algorithm that determines monetization to the copyright claims, no one knows what's going on. Content creators have been crying out for meaningful reform at YouTube for a long time, but it seems to be falling on deaf ears. If you thought that surely things can't get worse, think again because it's all starting to fall apart like my best option to this is um advertising my bit shoot channel and youtube doesn't really like that and I, I i try to pin it in every single video but there's really not a good option to youtube at this point um 
though I will say BitChute has been amazing. Like when I got my um, channel hacked by MG Toe, um, they absolutely, like they were on the ball. Like, do you remember when to Twoon got his channel hacked on YouTube? It was weeks, months, no answers, no help. I literally had my channel back in my hands within three hours when it came to BitChute. I got a hold of them, they got my channel back, they safeguarded everything for me, and it was done. It was that easy. Like, I did have some help from Geeks and Gamers, but still, they did a really good job. So thousands of creators get um, spammed with false copyright claims. Earlier today, YouTube decided to drop a belated Halloween scare on content creators from around the world getting bombarded with false copyright claims on their videos. These claims have been affecting creators all over the world, irrespective of their channel sizes. They are mainly focused towards gaming. Um, I see another creator, um, Ethan Nestor. Oh cool, WMG just claimed my entire Until Dawn series. Same thing happened to me. They live, <laughs> like how, how, how honestly grotesque of a person do you have to be when you have that many I mean, I get he earned his subs too. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I'm extremely small channel. And it's really disheartening, this kind of stuff. People are actually getting copyright claims for their entire series and playthroughs, which is absolutely insane. Say what happens. How did everyone suddenly get copyright claims on multiple videos? Like, I, I don't understand it at all. People are actually getting copyright claims for their entire series. Their entire series. That is what happened to me when it comes to Until Dawn. I do see another one um, that had to do with Dead Space. So basically any game that KSI played a walkthrough for, his media company decided it was okay to take everybody's video that played a similar video game. Can you tell me how much sense that makes? Like literally any Buddy that played until dawn got a copyright claim. I mean, I don't know that it was everyone. I'm being a bit hyperbolic, but still, everybody got these claims because KSI played a game. Like, <laughs> what a jackass. Just saying. Um, it says, What's up with YouTube? It's copyright claim. Apparently, these claims are coming from KSI, who is one of the biggest content creators on YouTube. While the copyright claim does not take down the video or result in a strike. It does divert monetization, exactly. My clicks, any clicks I get on those videos, I don't get that money at this point. They are going to KSI, hence why I fought it. But they were older videos, so they weren't getting exactly a whole lot of traction anyway. But still, it is so, so dumb. The copyright claim seems to be going to every single person who has played the same game as KSI on his YouTube channel, which to put it mildly is absolutely ridiculous, absurd, ridiculous, insane. Like I can think of a few choice words I'd like to say, but YouTube will, you know, make sure that nobody sees my video, but you are taking everyone's videos like, oh, YouTube, get your shit together. You're literally letting a huge creator take from the little creators. You're literally demonetizing big channels for what? Reuse content was their um, excuse when it came to Mr. Medicare and Purity Sin. Reuse content where? Now, could it have anything to do with your trying to say that this reuse content is coming from copyright claims like this? So if you think I'm reusing KSI's content, am I next on the chopping block? Like, is my channel next to be demonetized because they're seeing now my walkthroughs and my gameplays as reused content? And when it came to Mr. Medicare, he didn't even have any videos on his channel except for one. So, how much sense does that make? It's basically a catch-all, an umbrella term. They're just like, we're not going to give you any real answers because there's no other good platform. Well, I would say BitChute's good, but it, I mean, it, it's small still at this point. So... They're just going to basically rule with an iron fist. I can't believe this. This is insane to me. Like, they really need to get their shit together. I'm still going to keep making videos. I'm going to absolutely fight all of the false copy. They are false. They are 100% false from live gameplay. 
Like, quit playing, KSI. You don't need my $2 compared to your $2 million. God, so ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, I want to give a huge shout out to my subscribe star and Patreon. You guys literally make this channel possible. Thank you so much, Sanjuro, Way Else One, BG Torrance, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Grand Smear, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Jeremy Burtz, Mike Buckner, Robert, and Timothy French. You guys are freaking amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, and make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.